So what is going on people, welcome to episode 10 of this Man City FM23 save and well, as I said from the last episode, right at the end of the last episode, if you watch that, I hit cut and I've hit record straight away again. This end of season has got all, it's all happening um, in the last episode. We started with a 3-0 defeat away to PSG. Messi and Mbappe just made us look stupid. So we somehow have to try and overcome that in this second leg coming up first to maybe play Bayern or Liverpool in a Champions League final. And a one-all draw away at Anfield last time out. Not against the strongest Liverpool side either, it must be said. Julian Alvarez with a 92nd minute equaliser. To well avoid defeat and make the title situation in that game a little less ominous. Haaland missed a penalty, 5.9 rating in the last couple of games has been completely anonymous. But today we know what we need to do. First game out, try somehow to beat PSG by three goals. That's just to bring it level as well. And then in the Premier League. Thanks last time out. Arsenal were in it. They're not anymore. We picked up a point against Liverpool. Six points clear still of them. Arsenal were six points clear. Or six points behind also. But then Wolves smashed them 4-0. And well that means they are now out of the title race. So a point against United. And we win the league. Winning the league against your local rivals. That is one of the sweetest things there ever can be in football. But I did hit record literally straight after that one. We found out what the Arsenal result was and then we uh, yeah, we ended and then we continued. So we are a couple of days out from the PSG game, but we will build up to it together. We are going to go with the 4-2-4. We played the 4-2-3-1 last time out and it really did not work. If we have a look then... Oh, Bayern 2-1. Liverpool take the lead. And then two goals in two minutes in the final six minutes. Mean that Bayern secure their place in the Champions League final. And we know... Oh, sign a scout from United. Nice. Um, yeah, we know. We overturn this deficit somehow. Then uh, this, yeah, this Bayern side... Is awaiting us PSG Bayern in Madrid. Whew. Right. Let me pick a team then for this game. So this is the team then. This is the team I have put confidence in. Edison back in goal. Akanji starts at right back after playing pretty well against Liverpool, it must be said. Um Lunin made that horrible error against Liverpool and we need our best goalkeeper in the most important game of our season. Diaz and Laporte are going to play at the back. Laporte coming in for Stone. Stone's not particularly good against Liverpool, and not particularly good against PSG in the last round either. Uh, last game either, to be honest. Gaia in mid. Uh, Gaia at left back. Rodri and De Bruyne in midfield again. De Bruyne not been playing brilliantly as of late, but he is a man who can create something out of nothing. So we keep faith. Silver on the right. Foden on the left. As the winger Alvarez and Haaland. Haaland is playing. He may have been 5.9 in the last game. But he scored 42 goals this season. He's a 5 star player. He's 7.3 average rating. He's been our best player. He's going to play in this game. Lots of options from the bench. Morgan Rogers there if we need him. Right let's go. Let's not wait any longer. Last time. Our PSG played a very defensive formation and played six defenders and they're doing the same again. They're playing, I think, the same team. They are indeed actually playing the same team. So it's the same test for us. Let's give it for the fans. Let's do something special. Um, always keen to attack. Yeah, Frome de deserves a lot of plays. Silva is a great player we've heard the tune a million times we know what is to come let's just get straight into it come on the boys playing the exact same way set up the same way Messi from the right and Mbappe through the middle De Bruyne corner in eight minutes on the clock and it's headed away and Mbappe is there and Bernardo Silva chasing back superbly right Laporte the music's still going for some reason Foden forward headed away Messi is there defending Rodri 
to Silva. Oh, I tried to find a ball through to Haaland, but it's knocked up. Only as far as Laporte, we can keep the pressure on. Thankfully, Messi's touch is loose. How often have you said that in his career? Gaia down this left-hand side. Foden back to Gaia. Long ball forward looking for Haaland. And it's headed back to Donnarumma. Why can Donnarumma do what Lunin did in the last game? Ramos, Hernandez, Marquinhos. Good tackle from Haaland. He wants this. He desperately wants this. Rodri from the edge of the area fires it over the bar. We have got it in us to score multiple goals. Neymar with the corner. Ramos is there near stick. And I thought they had nerfed near post corners. It's 4-0 on aggregate. And that is probably us out. I haven't scored. I've been playing FM offline, admittedly, a lot of today. Have not scored a near post corner. Because apparently since the update, they've been nerfed. Inside 10 minutes, we can see from a near post corner. Hakimi inside to Messi. It could get Messi for us. Drives to the byline. Laporte is there, though. And clears away Foden. It's a lovely touch to get him away from Marquinhos. Haaland balling behind for Alvarez. Back to Foden. He's in on goal. Oh, it's a save. Alvarez, how have you not buried that? How have you not scored? Oh, he's got the whole goal to aim at. And he's just gone, here you go, mate. Have that back. Oh, mate. We need to win, Julian. Oh, they're in behind Mbappe. It's... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, mate. How has that happened? How have we gone from missing such a glorious chance? It's a lovely ball of movement, to be fair. This game could make me very sad sometimes. Neymar, ball in. Marquinhos is aimed for. It's headed away. Right, come on, boys. Let's launch a counter. We've got three against three here. Slip him in. Haaland, he's in. Erling, Erling. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, it's just not going to be our day. Oh, Erling. Oh, these things make me sad. I'll admit, Lee, I haven't played well, actually, since this patch. But when I was playing offline today... Oh, go on, Erling. Go on, son. Go on. Rodrigo. Oh, it's, it's poor. Um, Yeah, not played well. I mean, to be fair, my offline save, I am reading, and I have just got promoted to the Premier League, so I'm expecting it to be... Neymar's in. Expecting it to be tough. He scored an absolute worldie. Oh, we're out. And it's gone... <laughs> oh, it's gone so horribly wrong. It's an unbelievable finish. Oh, I'm going to break them. It could be about to get worse as well. Messi's got a free kick, probably, what, 30 yards out, just over. Oh, dear. <sighs> Edison tips it round the post. To be fair, I haven't played this save in almost a month. Probably FM... You know, you get those superstitions. Oh, it's FM, you know, punishing me for not playing for so long. And Bappe back out to Neymar. To be fair, with this 250 million that I've got, how much? How much have I... Where is he? No, that's the other team. Hang on. How much is he worth? He's not for sale. Need is messy. Bollock. 825 grand... Wow. I mean, to be fair, we could afford it. We've got 1.3 spare in the wage. But, Jesus. I don't think I've ever seen wages that high on FM as well. Neymar was at £800,000 a week. That's insane. That all, actually almost makes me sad. That someone's earning that a week, and I'll do well to earn that in my lifetime. Boys, boys, forward. Come on, we're 6-0 down. Harlan, go on, and edit it back. Sorry, bleep it. Rod that is outside the ball pass. That's outrageous. Come on, just give us one. Just one goal would make me happy. It's going to be a goal for them, isn't it? Oh, no. Mbappe. Oh, it's a save by Edison. I know it seems a bit stupid. Oh, we're playing a standard line as well. He's just that quick. I thought we might be playing a high line, but we're not. Oh, that's sad. Neymar with the corner. It's aimed at the near post again. It's headed out. Julian. I mean, he's got 10 seconds. Feed him! Go on. Oh, what? Oh, whirling. We've got an XG of 1.7. Oh. All right. I, I, there's nothing you can do at this point. De Bruyne. Is, I mean, it's got good whip on it. I'll give him that. But, oh, that's so sad. It reminds me of this last City save I did on you here. 
when I got, I think the first season we got to the Champions League semi final, and then we got absolutely embarrassed by United. Oh, lots of poor performances. Oh, that's not good. Erling's having a good game though. He's shattered. Right, Bernardo is coming off. I think six point zero. Foden, we've made we've made uh, three changes so far. Foden, he's going the long way. He's doing it himself. Phil, go on, lad. Phil, Phil. Oh, it's it's Odson. Oh, it's what? <laughs> it's just oh, I'm just filled with sadness. Why has it got to end this way? Right, more subs. I might bring Ireland off just to save him for the United game. I didn't bring Ireland off. I lied to you all, but still. And look, we've had 23 shots in this game. 12 on target. We've got an XG of 3, I'm pretty sure that just said. Oh, if Julian had scored that tap-in, things could have been so different. It's Gundogan. Can we score one, please? Just to make me feel better. Harland, it's Phil. There's a ball in there. Odson was there. Open your... That's a good clearance. Foden. Go on, Phil. Ilkay. I'm speaking on first name terms. It's that sad. Stones, Rodri, get a ball in, you Stones. Come on. Oh, he's launched that. Keep it in, Phil. Go on, Phil. Odson's there. Turn your man. Turn your man. Odson. Oh, he's offside for good shoot. Why don't you shoot by yourself? Oh, it's just... it's. Oh. We scored in the 92nd minute last time. Can we do it again? Long ball up and Bappe. Stones wins it. Rodri. Haaland. Ilkay. Go on, Gundogan. Oh, he's tried to poke it through. It's a ball over the top. Okay, Mbapps didn't fancy that one. Oh, Kanji. It's a good tackle. That's going to be that. Oh, it's only two minutes of added time. Well, we're going to lose 6-0 on aggregate to PSG. I would say that it's probably my fault. Is there a lot really you can do, though? Is there really? I mean, we dominated that game. How we haven't scored is a joke. Yeah, we should have won that match, but we didn't. And, yeah, much sadness. It's ended rather emphatically, it must be said. But it's a PSG and Bayern Munich final. There it is. Where's the final being held this year? Ataturk Olympic Turkey. Who play there? Nobody. No. Yeah. Oh, it must be the National Stadium. Either way, we're out. United next. Title can be won. With a single point. Right, big important game. Get a point. Liverpool won their game. We get a point. We win the league. Last time we played United, we lost 4-1. That was in a live con very early on in the season. Um, whereabouts were we? Uh, there, yeah. Which Perfect start. Got battered. Then had a perfect rest of the month. Team selection is bold. Well, we were crap against PSG. We're at home. Much sadness. <laughs> Lunin is in goal. Walker at right back. Stones and Diaz at centre half. Ake in at left back. Calvin Phillips and Gundogan in the middle of midfield. Cole Palmer out on the right. Grealish on the left. Edward and Haaland up top. Laporte. Did he play in the last game? I think he did. Crap. Gaia. Crap. De Bruyne. Silver. 6.0s. The pair of them. Alvarez. Nothing. Foden's not fit. Cancelo and Rodri are suspended. This is what we have. This is what we're going with. I mean, not bad options off the bench, let's be serious. But, you know, some of these sort of fringe players, Ludin, you know, Ake, Phillips, Palmer, Grealish, you know, um, as you would expect, Liner, hopefully the occasion will lift them. We had a pre-match meeting. I told them, this is our league to win. Go out there and do it. They were like, yes, come on, we love it. Let's do it. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, I don't want much more sadness. There's already been much sadness in this episode. Edward, he's in behind. He gets past, gets past Varane with relative ease. Oh, no, Haaland is dead. No, Erling. No. I'm going to keep him out there and see how he does. Ronaldo, go away. Oh, what is with this game at the moment? Cannot beat this game at the moment since this update. I mean, it's a cracking finish. It's just, he's just hit that and Lunin's really got nowhere near it. 
Oh, we need is a draw. Come on, Grealish with the ball in. Uh, front post, Stones. Oh, straight there. Why is this game hating me at the moment? Oh, it's much sadness. I said I couldn't do with much sadness, and there is much sadness. Ball forward, Ronaldo. If I oh, swear to God, Lunin, if that if he'd have done something stupid, then right we go again. Stones out to Walker. Can we build Cole Palmer, the youngster, inside Gundogan? He's trying to ball forward, and Eriksson's cut it out. Casemiro with space. Ruben steps in really well. Grealish. He's got a man chasing him, and he gives the ball away. Ronaldo. Back to Ericsson. Launches that forward and Martial is in behind. Ake needs to get back. He hasn't. Oh my. What do you say about that? So Bruno could do that. But Alvarez gets the same chance in the last game. And he passes it to the keeper. Right, Phillips intercepts. Gundogan tries to get a ball forward out wide to Grealish. Cuts inside. Beautiful ball in the middle to Phillips. Edward is crowding around. Walker into Cole Palmer. Palmer. Oh, it's off the outside of the post. Why? Why can't we? Oh, why can't we score? What's going on? Oh, there is much sadness. Demand more. Phillips with the corner near post. Edward's there. Can't reach it. Gundogan back in. Casemiro gets it away. Man United had everyone back. Oh, what is that? They said they'd fix defending and my defenders have become useless. Fernandez down his left-hand side. It's casual play from United now and they can. I, I knew my team selection was bold, but I thought we'd put up more of a fight than this. Who's playing left wing? Greedish, where are you, mate? Gundogan. He's just lumped it forward. Edward. What are we doing? Well done, getting back. Cole Palmer. I'm going to have a bloody aneurysm in a minute, I swear. Gundogan, Haaland, Grealish, Phillips. It's good play. It's back to Jack Grealish. Square it. Edward, we get a goal. Get in. Beautiful play. Edward's 26th goal of the season. We have carved United apart there. That is more like us and we need that. Oh, there might have been suspicions of offside, but it's a lovely ball from Phillips. Grealish, really unselfish to see Edward in the middle. Come on, boys. We'll encourage. Let's get them back. Haaland's still suffering. Oh, it's not ideal. But it is 2-1 at half time. And we've had 18 shots in that first half, apparently. 2.5 XG almost. All right, we pump the fists. Come on, boys. The fans. We do it for the fans, especially in this game. Renato Tapia on. Why do I recognise that name? Peruvian from Celta Vigo. Well, there you go. Another sort of Ten Hag signing. I like that though. You know, players that are played in lower places that maybe deserve the chance. We've had nothing in terms of the first 15 minutes. Cole Palmer's dead. Right, we've gone a bit... A oh, Lunin's come out. Uh, we've gone a bit asymmetric. I've brought on De Bruyne, taken off Palmer. We're playing De Bruyne as like a... Oh, it's a good save. Um, a attacking midfielder. So it's yeah, it's a bit lopsided, but I didn't want to play De Bruyne on the wing. We're playing him as an advanced playbreaker, um, just behind the uh, just behind the strikers. So yeah, we're trying to focus now down this left hand side, and that's where our goal came from. To be fair, from Grealish, Gundogan, ball forward, Harlan. He's in behind Erling. Oh, it's a beautiful goal. It's forty third of the season. If there was going to be one man, that's why you don't take him off. Yes, he did nothing against PSG, but he's still able to walk. And, well, even though he's dead, you still bring him on. It's a beautiful ball from Gundogan Haaland with a lovely finish off the inside of the post, measured. And we have come back from 2-0 down. I am going to praise the boys there. We come back from 2-0 down. And, well... Actually, you know what? We're just going to go with it. We're going to keep going. Come on, boys. We've got the momentum. Is anything going to happen? They've taken off Bruno. We're into the last 10 minutes. I think some changes might be made. All right, a couple of defensive changes, as well as bringing on Bernardo Silva. It's a ball in. It's aimed towards the penalty spot, but Bernardo chases back. Laporte, De Bruyne. Ball forward, Edouard headed away. 
Gundogan is headed further away, actually, by Rashford Walker. That is a ball. Go on, Jack. Haaland. Oh, we've turned it round. I apologise for the high, the high pitch, but come on. 44th goal of the season for Erling. And we've turned it around. There must be limbs at the empty head. I'm sorry. But, oh, Grealish, great ball. Haaland gets his noggin on it. And it's it's an easy goal. Hey, I isn't going to get anywhere near it. We've turned this game around. Let's go. Oh, oh now he's dead. <laughs> Can we even make a sub? He did die in the end. But he we got our money's worth out of him before he did. Oh my word, 2-0 down as well, looking dead and buried. And we have come back and we have turned this game around. Come on, boys, let's hold out. Oh, Gunnar misses his tackle, Ericsson. Oh no, he's into the air. What a save from Lunin with 20 seconds to go. We praise the boys, come on. Ericsson with the corner. Oh, this is an agonising wait. Ball in. Ames for McTominay, Stones heads away. Rashford, and he gets it back in, away from Laporte. Edward will collect. He loses out. No, he doesn't. Oh, it's a risky pass, and we get it clear. Come on, referee. Maguire is there. Grealish, get the tackle in. He does get the tackle in. Can we get a fourth? Or does he run for the corner? He gets it back again. It's done. We win the league. Are we going to have the trophy celebration? No, we have that in the next episode. But we've won the Premier League in an almighty game. Jesus. Oh, Premier Division champions. Oh, my word, what a game. And there it is. We are Premier League winners. Forest are down. Six points clear now of Liverpool. Oh, what a game. We've done the double. What did we win? Oh, the Community Shield. Harling, four to six days. Erling, my man. Thank you. That's his seat. Uh, may, he might be back for Bournemouth. Probably not, but probably wouldn't even play him anyway. Just give him a rest. So, 45 games this season for Erling. 46 goals. The man is officially broken. I'm just going to holiday to the end of the season. Do you know what? Uh, we'll come back. On the 29th. I can't, I really can't be asked to just play this last game. The emotional agony from what has been the last couple of games has been, oh, I mean, I just wanted to, I could have left this save unfinished, but, I, I, you know, I wanted to, it's con creating content at the moment. I've just still been getting used to work and everything. Like, we've started doing weird shifts. Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe it's only once every so often. But, like, I've started to have to do some shift work at work now. Where I was working till 11 o'clock and then in at, like, half eight the next day. And my body's still getting used to normal shifts. And I'm doing these sorts of shifts. And so I've been at my place, like, what, two and a, almost two and a half months. And I'm still adjusting and... It's taking longer than possible, which is why this is, you know, it's longer, taking longer than I would like, which is why it's affecting content. And I want to be able to get back to making regular content. I love making content. It makes me happy, gives me, you know, it feels like it gives me a purpose. And I want to get back to that. And I wanted to finish the save, but I hate coming back to things that I've left for so long. You know, that, but we had to finish the save where it was at and oh it's just <laughs> it's been emotional I mean the PSG games were just laughable but that game that's that's the moments you enjoy on FM that's the moments you play this game for to beat United 2-0 now to come back and win 3-2 and win the league against them that's oh that's what you play this game for and yeah, okay, you know, started the game with City, so it was going to be easy. But that's all it was going to be. It was a beta save. We wanted to have some fun. We wanted to see how broken Haaland was. Officially, he is broken. We can confirm it. Would have been nice to play on, you know, 250 million to spend. Maybe I'll have a, I'll play the sort of the transfer window offline. Just see who I can bring in and what sort of mad team we can, uh, we can assemble here. 
I'm just scrolling through all of this stuff. We lost 2 0. You're having a laugh. Leicester got relegated, blimey. Right, okay. So that's how the Premier League table finishes then after this season. Champions by three points. It could have been more, but I did holiday the last game. Liverpool second, Arsenal third, United fourth, Spurs in fifth, Chelsea in sixth. And then if any of your teams there, Fulham survive. Southampton, Conference League finishing 17th, Leicester go down, Forest go down, as you probably would expect, as do Bournemouth. In terms of the Championship, so Norwich, West Brom, final. Borough come up as champions, interestingly. Have they got Carrick and Charles? They've got Claudio Ranieri. What a story that is. Where did that come from? Oh, they start the game. Oh, yeah, they start the game unemployed, don't they? Uh I think when I started this save, they Wilder must have gone by then. Watford in second, Reading finished seventeenth. I've got them. I finished second with Reading. Come on, you can do better than that. Um, right, player stats. Then let's have a look. Goals: Harland, thirty-three goals in thirty-one games in the Prem. Edward, twenty-two in thirty-two, which is really not bad for me. Got more goals than Salah. Uh, Alvarez got 11 in the league. Love to see it. In terms of average rating, we had the four best players in the division. We had five in the top 10. Cannot argue with that, can we? In terms of assists, Foden finishes level um, with Ericsson. On my Reading save, offline by the way, I finished second, as I said. We finished. We were top for most of the season, or over half the season, and they had a poor run of form at the end of the season and bottled it, right? Tom Ince for my Reading team got 30 assists in all comps. I haven't had a player get that many assists for God knows how many years. That was amazing. But yeah, Foden 12 assists. De Bruyne got 10. So in actual fact, as much shit as we give him, beep it out. I'm sorry, 6.97 average rating. He's still chipped in, to be fair to him. Uh, oh, we've got a number of players on eight as well. You love to see it. Uh, player in a match at Erling. Just clean sheets. God, oh, seventh. We only got twelve clean sheets. This, to be fair, you only played. You played thirty-two games. That's that's poor. Twenty of the games Edison played in, he conceded. That's bad. Um, what else do we want to look at? Champions League. We know PSG, Bayern, FA Cup, Liverpool against Arsenal final, Carabao Cup. That's where Southampton qualified. Um, in terms of other leagues, Spain or oh, Barcelona are ahead by a point of Real Madrid. When's the last game of that? 4th of June! Bloody hell. So yeah, Barcelona are ahead and then oh, like 20 points between the Madrid clubs. In Spain, uh, in Italy, Roma a point ahead of Parthenope. Great name. Inter and Juventus well off the pace in Bundesliga. Bayern won by 10 points, as you would imagine. And in France, we know PSG, 23 points clear. Still with the game to play. Madness. So ends the City save. Let's have a look then. Final stats-wise, Ruben Diaz played the most games. Erling played 45, as did Phil Foden. 42 for... 50 for Gaia, to be fair, actually. Not... A great average rating from him. 44 million we spent. 6.77 in the league. Not the best from him. Alvarez really impressed with this season. At one point he was a four star player. He's wanted by some of the biggest clubs in the world. He's improved mahusively. 15 goals, 14 assists. A monumental effort from him. In terms of goals. Oh, Erling. 46 goals in 46 games in all comps. Not bad. Edward really impressed with him, to be fair. He bagged, what, four in five for Palace. 18 in 27 in the league for us. Well, yeah, so 18 in the league for us. Got a couple of Champions League goals as well. Really good signing, to be fair. Just a typical striker. 18 million. Knows where the goal is. Happy with that. Alvarez with 15. Foden with 13 as well. Smattering of others. Assist-wise... Phil with 15, Alvarez 14, a number of other players there in the top 10. In terms of paper, I think our best player. And, yeah, anyone out of contract this year? Gundogan, oh, I forgot about that. 
Ooh, I have to see. Will we renew his contract? Well, I don't know because I'm not going to be playing this same anymore. So there we go. The save is complete. We win the Premier League. We spectacularly fall out of the Champions League. But we win the league in some style. Guys, oh, I hope you have enjoyed this series. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. Content, new content will be coming. I feel like this is maybe sort of hung over me in getting this finished. But now I have something new to look forward to that might inspire me to get back into sort of regularly doing it. Baramont or Ortega, hopefully they'll take him. Um, so yeah, these will come out hopefully this week. And then the new content maybe start from the week after that. New content, I will say now, is going to be a new FIFA series. It's not going to be Barnsley. We'll talk about that in that episode, that first episode. But yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, pop a like on there for me, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. <laughs>